Hello and welcome to another quick Luminar Neo tutorial. My name is Steve and today we're going to be looking at the background removal tool. This tool uses the power of AI to detect your main subject and up to nine other elements from your image and place them onto a transparent layer, completely removing your background. It's easy to use and saves you a lot of time, so let's take a look at it. So this is the photo that I'm going to work with. What I want to do is extract my model from the background. Before I get started though, I need to actually make sure that the background removal tool is installed. So if I head up to extras just here, top right, inside of here I'll find the background removal tool inside of extensions. Once that's installed, close that window, then you'll find it inside of your layer properties, then masking, and it's just here at the bottom, background removal. Give that a click. Now allow it some time, what it's going to do is analyze your photo and then detect all the different elements that it can extract from it. So just give it a little bit of time to do so. Okay, great, that's done. Now you'll notice that my subject is highlighted red. We've also got a few other elements that we've up here. We've got flora, architecture, and natural ground. So let's say I also wanted to include the trees in the background there. It will highlight them red. Now I can extract them both together. But for now, we are just taking the main subject. So I'm going to just simply click remove. And there we have it. So it's done a great job to begin with, but we can obviously see that part of the skirt is missing. And I think we're also missing some of the cuff here from the jacket. That's not a problem. What I want to do now is click on the refinements brush. And inside of here, we'll find three different brushes that we can use. We've got the transition brush, which is transparent, and that acts as the space in between the object brush, which is orange, and the background brush, which is blue. Okay, now you can see part of the skirt is actually highlighted blue. That means that the AI detected it as background. So the first thing I want to do is get my transition brush and just let it know that we actually want part of this image. You'll also notice that the transition brush is mostly over the subject and then just over the background just a little bit. So we're going to match that as well. So I'm gonna go around these edges. Okay, there we go. So I've got the outline now of my subject and you'll notice though that still that there's transparency within there. What I need to do now is use the object tool. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to brush within the lines here and make sure we can get all of that detail back. And again, I'm just going to speed this process up. Okay, great. And then if you notice that part of the background has come through as well, so if I just close this, I can get a clearer picture. But if you can see just around the skirt here, I've got part of the background, then also make sure that you highlight that. You can do that within the transition area and then just brush over it and just let the AI know that we don't want that part of the photo. And then similarly, if you don't actually want to use those brushes, you can also go up to mask, back to masking and then use the brush paint and erase, you can also use those as well. And then let's say for example, I'm just a bit more refining, I'll just go around this section just here and get rid of that. Paint a bit more on the inside, there we go. And there we have it, it's completely cut out. Now obviously in my image here, part of the grass and the leaves on the floor have actually prepped into the photo, that's just how the photo is. But I could also go to my erase tool just here and then if I wanted to, I could clean this up by just brushing over it, each of the grass blades and then just pressing erase and that will get rid of them for me as well. By, what it will do is just detect part of the skirt that's a similar color and then it will just get rid of those for me, which is really handy and again, saves me a lot of time. So there you have it, that is the background removal tool. What I want you to do now is try this out for yourself and share the results with us using the hashtag madewithluminar and we'll check them out. I'll be back again with another quick tutorial very soon, so until then, goodbye.